is euthanasia morally permissible? James Rachels, in his paper, Active and Passive Euthanasia, argues yes. But before getting into the argument, let's just go over what the term euthanasia means. To euthanize someone is to take her life through medical means, say, a lethal injection. This is typically done when someone is suffering extensively from a terminal illness. So the question then becomes, is it permissible to end someone else's life when they have little time left to live? Rachels says yes. He starts off with the following observation. It is permissible to remove life-saving treatment in order to let a patient die. If the patient wants her life-sustaining treatment removed in order to end her life, then it seems clear that we should honor that person's wishes. But if we're okay with letting people die, then we should be fine with taking their lives for the very same reason we let them die. For instance, if we allow someone to die because she is suffering intolerably, why would it be any different to end her life through medical means? So, Rachels argues for the following claim. Letting someone die is no different than taking her life. Now, that seems like a crazy claim. Isn't killing clearly more wrong than letting someone die? Well, Rachels doesn't think so. He asks you to imagine the following scenario. A man named Smith has a six-year-old cousin. If his cousin dies, Smith will gain a large inheritance. Smith plots to kill his six-year-old cousin by drowning him in a bathtub. After he commits the crime, he arranges the scene to look like his cousin had fallen in and drowned by accident. Now, compare Smith's actions with the actions of Jones. Jones also has a six-year-old cousin and will gain a large inheritance if his cousin dies. Just like Smith, he plots to kill his cousin by drowning him in a bathtub. However, just before Jones does, his cousin slips, hits his head, and falls unconscious into the bathtub. Jones is, of course, delighted and stands by as his cousin drowns. Jones lets his cousin die so that he can inherit the large inheritance. Rachels then asks you this. Is there a moral difference here? The only difference is that Smith takes his cousin's life, whereas Jones only lets his cousin die. Clearly, there isn't a moral difference here. It simply doesn't matter whether or not you take someone's life or let her die. In other words, there isn't a moral difference between killing and letting die. Suppose that Rachel's is right and there is no moral difference between killing and letting die. What does this mean for the euthanasia debate? Well, if there is no difference between killing and letting die, then whenever it's permissible to allow someone to die, it's also permissible for the very same reasons to take her life. Since it's permissible to let someone die, then it's permissible to take her life. Thank you for watching 5-Minute Ethics. Please like and subscribe.